Okay, let's talk about tie downs again and about uh, carrying a vehicle like this up and down the highway or road or interstate or wherever. Um, first off, I've gotten beat up pretty bad. I did a video about this a while back where I put these extra tie down rings on here because I've always tied my, um, my vehicle onto the bars of the trailer. And th this trailer didn't come with tie down loops, so I've always put my tie downs under this. But um, a few months ago, I put these tie down loops on the trailer. They're anchored underneath this piece of wood, so they're, it's not just like a bolt going under here. Under the piece of wood, there's actually a big washer and a flat piece of metal to secure it. But I've gotten beat up a lot because people are saying that's still not a very good way to do it, and I agree, and I've been looking for a better way. And so let's talk about this for a minute. So if you notice, when I carry my vehicle up and down the road, I always tie it down in about eight or nine different places. First off, my tie downs, which are rated for, I think, 3,000 pounds each, connect to that ring. They go through the frame, connect down to that ring. I always buy the extra long tie downs that have plenty of slack. So as an additional safety measure, I also tie the extra length around that side of the frame and that side of the frame because if the tie downs come off the hooks this will be sort of a last line of defense right here this will catch and um and i'm you know i'm not um i'm not pretending that that's going to keep the vehicle on on here it's just an extra layer of defense in case the vehicle starts jumping around plus i went ahead and put these hooks on the front and back of the vehicle so i've got these red straps that hold it down on front and back and I did the same thing on the back. I've got these tie down rings on the back that um, there's one right there, there's one right over there and uh, they go through the frame, the back side of the frame just like that. Plus I've got the red tie downs that secure to the back of the trailer and the frame. And uh, even with that, this uh, my Pioneer will jump around sometimes and these will get loose. So you can see it's loose now. What I've gotten in the habit of doing is stopping two or three times on each trip just to check it. But there's a better way to do this. So that's what I want to talk about today. Um, first off, let's talk about why this thing jumps around. So here's the reason the Pioneer jumps around. First off, you have a tire which is filled with air, which compresses as you hit bumps and go up and down the road. That tire is sitting on a spring, which also compresses and it, it bounces. It gives you some, um, some bounce in the trailer. And then the Pioneer tire compresses and it bounces around. And the Pioneer tire is uh, held in place by this bar and that spring, which provides more bounce. So you got a lot of points of bounce on this vehicle. And when you're going up and down the road, if you hit, like on the interstate, if you hit a big um, pothole in the interstate, like I did a few weeks ago, this thing will just start flopping all around like that. So you need to stop and check your straps if you're using straps like I am. But uh, let me show you what I'm doing to actually make this better. I don't think there's a best way, but there's definitely a better way. So here's one of the two things I'm doing. I went and I got these um, 3,000 pound uh, carabiner hooks and I put around these. So this hook's actually gonna go around the tie down and I'm gonna secure it in place just like this, uh, that is if I can do it. All right, let me set the camera down and do it. Okay, there we go. So even if the, even if the tie down strap gets loose and this hook comes off, it will not come off this hook. So the strap in no way will come off here because I got these 3000 pound loops on here that are holding both of them together. So this will not come off. Okay, so I've put these carabiner hooks on all four of my tie down straps. So let me show you how you put this thing on. Um, it's real easy to do. You just take your time, work on it for a minute. Here's one that's uh, where I've taken the tie down loose just to show you what happens. So see how the carabiner hook grabs the tie down hook. So in case the tie down hook comes off, the carabiner hook will grab it. And that's what I mean by, by saying that it won't come loose. It's, uh, it's secured in place, so you don't have to worry about this coming off this. Okay, so you can see I've got my bolt closed, and again, the bolt closes down. So when you screw it, you want it to screw down and not up. Now all I gotta do is tighten up my tie-down strap on the other side, and uh, 
we're ready to go. So the hook is in, this hook is under the loop. The carabiner hook has them both connected. So even if, even if this hook jumps out of the loop like that, the carabiner hook is gonna grab it and not let it go any farther. So your vehicle may be loose, but at least it won't come off your trailer. So let me say something. Here's the reason I'm doing this. Um, I see a lot of people doing dangerous stuff. They carry vehicles all over the place. Um, they tie down with rope and it's worth doing this right because if a vehicle this size comes loose on your trailer and jumps around, you could have a wreck or your vehicle could uh, make your trailer come loose and kill somebody or you know something really bad happen. Especially take your time and tie it down if you're gonna be on a highway or going over you know 10 or 12 miles an hour. Okay, so if you really want to do it right, you need to get a set of straps like this. These straps, uh, some companies call these umbrella straps. They're pretty much just tire straps. They go over your tire. They pretty much wrap around your tire. There it is on the back side. And uh, each end of it has a connector that ties to one of your tie down points. And you can see here that I've actually put another tie down up here. So on one end of this, you have a hook that has a spring loaded uh, little door, a little um, clasp on it. So you snap it on like that. This piece springs shut, so that's not gonna come off your tie down. On the other end, you have a ratchet. Let me set the camera down. I'll show you how that works. So the ratchet also has a little spring loaded uh, door. And you can see I've put some more tie downs on. So you clip it onto your tie down and it springs shut so it's not gonna come off there either. And then you just ratchet it down. I don't have this tie down secure. Uh, last time I did a video showing when I put these other tie downs on my trailer, um, I showed me connecting the tie downs and um, hooking them up underneath, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that again just to make sure that if, you're, if you wanna do this, you know how to do it properly. Maybe you didn't see that other video. So let's go underneath the trailer. I'm gonna show you how to put these uh, tie downs on and hook them up so that they're really solid. And by the way, a lot of people have told me that they thought these tie downs were a bad idea because they'll actually break through the board. Well, you don't have to worry about that. These boards are not gonna break. It'll take well over 2000 pounds of force to break through one of these boards. And I've got multiple tie downs for each wheel, so I think I'm pretty solid. So let me make another point. You see my supports right here under the trailer? I don't have my vehicle hooked up to the trailer, the side-by-side zone. So I've just got the um, trailer lift supporting the front end. I've seen people get underneath trailers with nothing but the uh, trailer lift supporting it. I think that's a terrible idea. So uh, I got out a couple of additional supports and put underneath the trailer to make sure that while I'm under there, it doesn't fall. So now let's get under there and hook up the uh, bottom side of that uh, hook. Okay, so I got my bolts coming out of the, of the uh, bottom. So I cut this piece of aluminum that will fit just over the bolts, just like that. All right, then on each one, I put an additional uh, washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. using a 9 16th nut so um, I've got a 9 16th ratchet right here <clears throat> there you go so that's what it looks like so that's not gonna come through the board some people think this will break through the board I promise you it's not um, so let's go hook up the other one. Okay, the uh, tie down in front of the rear tire is secure. So now let's hook up the ratchet strap and uh, tie this thing down. So you just clip your strap on, pull your slack out of your ratchet, ratchet it down. And now 
that's what it looks like. That's on securely. That tire is not going anywhere. So you have an additional um, layer of protection for your tires bouncing around on your trailer. So now let's go hook up the other one on the other side. Okay, one more thing. Um, you notice this is sort of crooked and actually this will slide forward. It'll slide that way. Um, that's okay. It doesn't really matter. As long as uh, both ends are tied down properly and hooked up, you got this strap that goes all the way around the tire. See, it goes around the backside too. That makes sure that the tire is not going to go forward or backward. So, and this uh, top strap adds a little bit extra protection to keep the tire on the trailer. So you could swap it and you could put the ratchet on that end and put the regular um, tie down on this end. Okay, I got the other hook put on the trailer right there in front of the other rear tire on the passenger side. So now I'm going to show you how to put these uh, tire straps on the tire. It's not hard. Just take your time and do it right. You just lay it over the top of the tire like that. Hook up the end that does not have the ratchet on it first. Then hook up the end that does have the ratchet on it. And it just clips in place. Pull out your slack and then ratchet it down. There you go, it's nice and tight. So it's real simple. You may see this move a little bit, but it's okay. As long as both ends are tight. This end's not as tight as it should be, and it's because my vehicle is on the trailer a little bit crooked. But um, the front's really tight. It's not gonna go anywhere. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because people get in a rush and they do stupid stuff. I've seen people carry their side-by-side or even heavy equipment down the road before with just rope tying it down and that's not sufficient don't use rope don't go to walmart nothing against walmart but don't go to walmart and buy a 300 pound rope and tie your vehicle i've seen people tie lawnmowers and other stuff on trailers and you're just asking for disaster take your time and do it right make sure everything is tied down you can see i've got multiple points of tie down Actually, this is my number one point of failure, but I always tie my straps onto my trailer and my brother is going to weld some uh, tie down points on the trailer. So I'm actually going to start tying the, uh, the main straps to the trailer and just use these tie down points for the wheel tires. I mean the, uh, the wheel tie downs and I'm going to put some on the front of the vehicle too, but I ordered them and they haven't come in yet. So I'm waiting on those. But uh, anyhow, if you don't want your machine to bounce all over the place, put plenty of tie downs on it. Um, decrease as much of the bounce as you can by tightening your wheels down to the floor of the trailer. So y'all be safe. Thanks for watching.